Okay, here we are. This is like one of the biggest Sephora's I've ever been to. How fun. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be Sephora shopping in Beverly Hills. I am so, so excited. First of all, do not mind the lighting. It's kind of awful, but I just got to Sephora. We are in Beverly Hills right now, and I thought it would be so fun to kind of just spend the day out here and, you know, enjoy the LA vibes. So that'll be my next video where I vlog my whole entire LA trip. This video is just Sephora shopping in Beverly Hills, and I do have quite a lot of restocks that I need to get, and we might pick up a few newer products that I've not tried yet. So let's head into Sephora right now. I can not wait this should be so much fun so let's go sephora shopping okay here we are how exciting this should be so much fun you guys i cannot wait to see what we can find it is so huge oh my god this is like one of the biggest sephora's i've ever been to how fun okay we're gonna start off in so de janeiro you guys told me it does not attract spiders so i think we're gonna go ahead and pick out the new perfume and i love the color i love the purple i really wanted to get the new luxe lip balm from fenty but they do not have it unfortunately i wasn't really thinking that they would i recently just tried the plush pudding lip mask it was okay it wasn't the greatest lip mask i've ever tried but like it's pretty decent for overnight and i think we're gonna go ahead and pick out the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm Light Wand. And I also went ahead and picked out a new airbrush setting spray. This is my favorite setting spray of all time. And I don't know if they have Pat McGrath at the Sephora I go to, but I've not really tried anything from this brand. So if you guys have, let me know and let me know what products that you guys like because I've heard really great things. A lot of influencers talk about Pat McGrath. We are now making our way into Hourglass. This brand is like crazy expensive, but they do have the concealers. I absolutely love these concealers. This and my Charlotte Tilbury concealer are like so, so good. Definitely one of my favorites. I've also heard great reviews about the setting spray as well. Oh my God, you guys, they have the Sephora favorites kit in here. I've never been able to find these at any of the Sephoras I go to, but to be honest, I just don't really see any products in here that I'm too interested to try. So I feel like it would be kind of a waste of money for me to get it. And we are in House Labs. I have I've tried the concealer. It's definitely up there for one of my favorites, but the shade that I got is just not my shade. I think I got this one, Fair Golden, and it's just way too yellow for me. And I think I've told you guys before, but I've tried out the PH Lip Oil. I think I have this shade. It's pretty good. It's very, very thin though. And I've also heard amazing things about the House Labs foundation too. I'm not a foundation girly, as you guys know, but if I were to try out a foundation, it would be this, but I'm way more of a skin tint girl right now. And look, they have the new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I don't know if you guys have been seeing, but on TikTok, they sent out PR and the lipsticks did not come in the PR package. And I think it was really cool. I think it was like a marketing thing that they were doing. They also have Pink Gasm Sunset in the Charlotte Tilbury wand. I've actually never seen this before. I don't know if it's new or not, but I think I'm just going to stick to the Pink Gasm. Oh my god, I have been seeing these everywhere. They do not have the Givenchy brand at my Sephora. They only have the mini sizes of the powders, but look at this. The powder blush. <gasps> that, oh my goodness, it looks so, so gorgeous, but 43 is kind of pricey you guys. I feel like this shade is like the most pretty. This is like definitely something I would go for. Wow, I've not really seen a lot from this brand. I didn't even know they had concealers and stuff. Ugh, the music is also so loud. And Tarte has just released their new Key Largo Glow, which are also bronzing drops. I feel like so many brands have been releasing bronzing drops recently. They also have the glittery maracujas as well, which I feel like would be really fun to try. I already do have a couple of them, so I feel like it would be pretty wasteful to get another one and I love the Tartlet tubing mascara too. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's very lengthening and great. We're currently in Way 
right now and I love the scalp and body scrub right here. I always just get the mini size just because the big size is like 40 bucks and I'm just like not about that. And this is pretty good too. It lasts me quite a while. I use this on my scalp and it just makes my hair feel so cleansed after using this. Absolutely love. And Laneige also has their cotton candy lip mask in here too. I love the packaging of it, but as you guys know, I'm not really a huge fan of their lip masks. Like they're okay. They're pretty decent. They smell better than they actually are on the lips, if that makes sense. And we're back in Charlotte Tilbury. I was looking at the face palette, the Glowgasm one. It has highlight, blush, and bronzer. And just look how gorgeous that is. I feel so much less social anxiety when filming, when it's in LA, because I feel like that's just so normalized here. Like, no one's like even looking at me, even though I'm filming. Like, I feel like everyone's just kind of immune to like people filming around LA, and it's really funny to me. Like, my social anxiety, like, where is she? I don't even know. Currently in NARS, I thought we'd check this out for a little bit. I've talked about this so many times before, but the Orgasm X blush is my favorite. But honestly, you guys, there's so much in here. I'm like overwhelmed. I don't even know what to look at right now. And I've also heard amazing things about the bronzing cream. I've seen quite a lot of people use this, but I already have my Say Sun Melt. No way they have the Danessa Marix brand. I think that's how you say it, Marix? I have no clue honestly but the skin tin everyone says it's like the best skin tin ever I'm kind of contemplating it you guys I don't know I do really enjoy my rare beauty one so I'm still kind of indecisive about this one maybe I might come back to it but again with this brand I've not really seen too much about it I've only kind of heard about the skin tint since this brand isn't at my Sephora I don't really see it that much and we are at Laura Mercier right now and I think correct me if I'm wrong this is like the foundation that everyone's been trying on TikTok and everyone's been saying it's like insane guys they have the summer Fridays lip oils I've been wanting to try these for so long I was so shocked they have these here in this Sephora. I was not expecting these to be in stock. We're gonna go ahead and pick up Pink Cloud. It is pink, but it kind of appears more clear on the lips, and that's what I'm going for more. I've tried a lot of stuff from Rare Beauty already, because I did a full face of Rare Beauty quite a while back, honestly, so there's not really anything in this brand that I'm like super keen on trying right now. I've been kind of wanting to get a new liquid blush for a while from them, but I don't really know what shade I'd want to get, and I always forget they have dewy and and matte ones of this. I think that's really cool that they do that. This would be my second time repurchasing this. I absolutely love this stuff from Benefit. They have the brow wax I've been wanting to try, but I think they're out of stock. No? Oh wait, no. <laughs> it's right here. I'm gonna get the mini size, of course, but I feel like this would hold my brows in place really well. And I recently just tried the Fenty Beauty concealer and it was okay. It definitely was not my favorite. And I think I'm actually gonna end up returning this. I tried this with a bunch of different base products and it just didn't look the best on my skin. And one thing I have not noticed until now is that they've changed the size of the packaging for the Benefit highlighters. Like they used to be very thick. The Benefit cookie one I have is like a lot thicker than this, kind of like that. I don't know. I never even knew that they had like changed that. And I recently just tried the Cloud Crush blush. I have candy clouds, but it's definitely not as pigmented. It took me quite a while to build up the pigment it's still really good and it looks really pretty and I recently just upped my hair care routine and by upped my hair care routine I mean added like two extra products to it but I love the Breggio deep conditioning mask as I've told you guys before but I was noticing their strengthening hair oil this would be really fun as well but I'm gonna get my hair cut soon and I think after that I'm gonna get a whole new like hair care routine and just try out some new stuff I've also been wanting to try the Charlotte magic cream for so long but the price is just insane and even the mini size like this is 30 bucks I don't know I feel like that's just kind of crazy to me another thing that looks really fun is the Tatcha dewy skin cream I cannot scroll on my for you page without seeing this thing is is that it's fine with the 
price, but having to keep restocking it can get really expensive. And something super, super underrated are these Sephora colorful blushes. They have a bunch of just gorgeous shades. I personally love number 50 right here. And I'm so bummed. I finally found pink powder from Huda Beauty. Like I just bought this one and I think it would be so wasteful just to get another one. So maybe when I run out of this one, I will get the pink one to try out. My question of the day is should I get these? I don't know. Like how good can an eye patch really be? But like, I don't know how fun. They have the vitamin C one. They also have the gold one, which is like 75 bucks, which is kind of crazy to me. Okay, since when did Dior have skincare? I had no idea. Another bestseller from Dr. Jart. You know what, we might come back to this, probably not. This is like bougie, bougie. We're in Dr. Jar right now. I also saw this color correcting treatment. I'm pretty sure I have seen quite a few people use this. I don't have crazy discoloration on my face, but I've seen people use this and it works wonders on their skin. So maybe if you guys have some discoloration, maybe try this. We are currently in Super Goop. I don't really hear too much about this brand anymore. They were popping off a lot in like 2021, but now I don't really hear too much about them. But I was looking at these eye shimmers. These look so fun. I wonder if these have SPF. Oh my God, yeah, they do. And I know we've all been seeing these everywhere. The YSL lip gloss. I've also tried their mascara. Kind of random, kind of weird, but it's actually pretty decent. It's not so much lengthening, but it's very volumizing. So if you guys have very naturally long lashes, this would look great on you. Currently in Glossier right now. I don't really try a lot from this brand. I have quite a lot of products but I don't really reach for Glossier as much. I have also tried their kind of relatively new formula of the bomb.com. I still prefer the old one. Not too much of a fan of the new packaging. I don't know. I've also been wanting to try the Future Dew, which is an oil serum hybrid. Since my skin is very dry, I feel like this would go really nice onto my skin. And they also have their cloud paints. I really do like these, not gonna lie. I have quite a few shades. I have this one, this one, and this one's my favorite. And I also think we're gonna try out the Jisoo hair mask. This is a mini size, you guys know. I love getting the mini sizes first. And we are in one size right now. I've seen their hydrating primer. This would probably be the primer I would lean for the most because it's hydrating and it's supposed to be really tacky too. And I've always just thought these were so, so pretty. Like the Trio palette with the highlighter blush and powder blush. And Say also just released new dewy blushes. This shade looks so pretty. I'm not even too much of a pink blush fan, but this, oh my God, that looks gorgeous. And I'm also a huge fan of the mini star glow or the star glow in general. I'm almost out of it. And I think I might end up getting the bigger size very soon actually, but I've been in here for so long. So I think we're gonna go ahead and pay right now. And I'm gonna show you guys a haul of everything I got. Okay. So, Sephora haul. I just got done in there. I had a total fangirl moment. I don't know why my hair is like so frizzy right now. So I'm gonna give you guys a haul right now of everything that I got because I still have the whole day in LA to spend here, which like I said, will be for my next video. They gave me some samples. How nice of them. I got a Sol de Janeiro body wash. I absolutely love the body wash. And then they also gave me a little like sample of the cream. So that's really fun. Oh wait, nope, and we have more. And I also got an Inky List moisturizer too, but I was able to get a few new things. So I got a restock of my favorite setting spray, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Is this Pillow Talk? No, it is not. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. This is my all-time favorite setting spray. It has my makeup on all day long. This is just one of my favorite products of all time. I love that. I also got a Way Scalp and Body Scrub. This is another restock. I think this is like my third time repurchasing like the small size. I use it for my scalp, which is why I get the small size because this lasts a good amount of time. I got a mini size of the Jisoo hair mask. How fun. I've only ever tried the hair oil from Jisoo and I really, really love that. I got another restock of the Tower 28 spray. 
absolutely love this stuff. Second time repurchasing this. Well, technically third because I also got the mini size first. I don't know why the lighting is just so awful. I think that fixed it a little bit. Maybe not. And I picked up the new Sol de Janeiro scent of the perfume mist. I got the mini size. I got the new Summer Fridays lip oil in pink cloud. This looked way more clear when I tried it on in the store. I got the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I have been wanting to try this for so long. I got the shade Pink Gasm, and it just, it looks so gorgeous. I don't know why it took me so long to try this, but this is one product I've been eyeing for so long. In the mini sections, before paying, they got me with the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum, and this is in Pink Glow, so I got another couple lip products to try. And then, finally, I picked out the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. I've been really into brow products recently. I don't really know why, but this just really appealed to me for some reason, and I just decided to pick it up. But yeah, you guys, that is everything that I got from Sephora. I might make like a little mini video of me trying all of this stuff out. But for now, this is what I picked up at Sephora in Beverly Hills. I'm so, so excited to continue on with my day in LA. So... You guys will definitely have to look out for that video coming up soon. But I had so much fun filming this video. I really did enjoy going to a huge Sephora. Like I said, all of the Sephoras I've been to are like small and there's not really all of the makeup brands in there. But seeing different brands and different products that I've not seen before was so, so exciting. And I'm definitely going to be coming back here. But if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your guys' opinions, your thoughts. And also make sure you guys let me know any other video ideas you guys have for me. But anyways, I love you all so, so much. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye.